Reddit's meltdown last week was the beginning of the end of the open and free internet that we know today, and it all relates to artificial intelligence. So first, what happened? A few weeks ago, Reddit's management decided to increase the cost of their API from free to actually paid. And that means third-party developers that are building amazing applications on top of Reddit's data, for many of them, it doesn't make financial sense to continue operation. One of the biggest applications is called Apollo, and it's basically Reddit for mobile, but much better than their native Reddit app. The author of Apollo said that with their new pricing, his app was going to cost on the order of $20 million per year just to run it. So he decided he's shutting it down. But that's just the start. Twitter just a few months ago implemented something similar and started charging for their API as well. And those two companies are not the last. There's going to be more and more companies that have proprietary data that are just shutting down and becoming highly siloed. So why are they doing that? Well, it all comes back to large language models. Artificial intelligence or large language models require a vast amount of high quality and structured data to be trained. And the better and more high quality the data is, the more unique the data sets, the better the model will be. And so when a company like OpenAI gets their hands on a unique data set that no other large language model has, that is a competitive advantage for OpenAI. So all of a sudden, because of this proliferation of large language models over the last six months, data has become increasingly valuable. Data was already super valuable, but now we're talking about exponential increases in the value of data sets. Right now, most large language models are built on the same corpus of open source data sets. So many artificial intelligence companies are scrambling to get their hands on better and better data, and especially unique data. And the outcome of all of this is that websites that have vast amounts of really unique and awesome data, like Reddit, like Stack Overflow, like Twitter, are shutting down, they're becoming siloed. And this is much different from what we've experienced over the last 10 or 15 years. About 15 years ago, companies started to realize that if they open up their APIs and allow third-party developers to build on top of their data sets, incredible ecosystems would be built. And the users get a ton of value, the third-party developers get a ton of value, and of course the company gets a ton of value. But now we have a fourth player. These large language models are ingesting data and becoming hyper-valuable very quickly. And these companies realize that and don't want to give out their data anymore. They either want to sell that data or they want to create their own large language models. And Reddit is a perfect example of this. Reddit has so much incredible data and they don't want to sell it anymore. They're looking to IPO and with monetization in their eyes, they've realized how valuable their data set is and now they're going to charge for it. This truly looks like the first step of a transformation of the open and free internet that we know today. And this, in my opinion, is really Really bad. I'm a huge proponent of artificial intelligence, as you know from watching any of the videos on my channel. I think the value that it's going to bring to the world is incredible. But this is one side effect that I did not see coming. As these apps shut down their APIs and become highly isolated and siloed, the amount of functionality and features built by third-party engineers is going to decrease rapidly. And that's going to hurt me as a consumer of these applications. And there's also another way to think about this. I, as a user, am giving up my data to companies like Reddit, to companies like Stack Overflow, to Twitter. Users are the one writing the content. We are creating the value for the companies, and then they're going ahead, closing it down, hurting us, and then selling our data to others. Now, what do we get as users from this new model? I believe there's an opportunity for an even better model where the end user gets paid for their contributions to the data sets that these companies have. And really, we should have all of the power. And we're seeing it with the meltdown of Reddit last week. Now, I really hope the outcome of the Reddit meltdown isn't that it just kind of passes by and that we actually get significant change and users benefit in the end. But I'm not sure that's going to happen. But we really do have all of the cards here because we're creating the value. More and more so, I believe that the end user needs to actually own the data completely. But these companies are not incentivized in any way to legally allow us to do so. As soon as we post something on Reddit, as soon as we post something on Twitter, Twitter, Reddit, they own that data. And that's really bad for the end users. Elon Musk at Twitter already said that he plans on sharing revenue with content creators on Twitter, which is a great first step. YouTube obviously shares a percentage of their ad revenue with creators, but many companies still don't do that, Reddit being one of them. This is a ripe time for another platform to come along and disrupt 
Reddit to disrupt any other company that is ingesting data from their users, letting their users do the hard work and not giving them any cut of it. And there's another wrinkle to this story. In an article by Dimitri Mazin, he takes it a step further and says there might be actual collusion happening between Reddit and OpenAI. And although it's all theories right now, it kind of makes sense. OpenAI is founded and run by Sam Altman, who is deep in the Y Combinator community. He was the president for years. He was also a former founder going through the Y Combinator program. Also, he's very close with Reddit. He's an investor. Y Combinator is an investor in Reddit. And he was also the CEO briefly. And he probably sees Reddit's data set as the ultimate competitive advantage, the ultimate moat against other large language models. And what Dimitri theorizes is that Reddit might be already sharing their data with OpenAI and Sam Altman has convinced Reddit's founders to close down their API so that only OpenAI has access to that incredibly valuable data set. And so we're in a really pivotal time for the internet. Right before our eyes, the open and free internet that we've all enjoyed over the last 10, 15, maybe 20 years is starting to close down. As data sets become more valuable, companies are less incentivized to share those data sets with third-party developers to build incredible functionality on top of it. So what do we need to do? First, I think there's a ripe opportunity for entrepreneurs to come along and build business models that reward users for their content contributions. Next, I think the Reddit blackout is great. I really hope it actually does something, but I'm not confident. Last, having a thriving open source ecosystem to compete against closed source artificial intelligence companies is going to be critical. What do you think the future of the internet is gonna look like? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please consider giving me a like and subscribe. This is very near and dear to my heart. I'll see you in the next one.